So he came out with me, and you know what? The very first time he went out, he taught me something. And one of those items sold today. And I think that's one of the biggest things that resellers just can't do. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin and we are in the Commonwealth cabin here. Hey, did you notice the new logo, the Flipper logo, slightly different than the Picker logo? Speaking of the Commonwealth Picker channel, I had a video come out, man, over a year, well, probably a lot more than a year ago. Did a garage sale video with a former student of mine, just a, a brilliant kid, and he's also like a foot and a half taller than me. And he went out with me for the first time. He's, you know, the world is his oyster. He's going to absolutely make a ton of money. He's extremely talented. But he wanted to go out and do this because he wanted some freedom in college. He didn't want to have to get a job where he was tied down to it. He wanted to be able to experience college, do what he needed to for college, and be able to make enough money on his own time. And I thought, wow, that's pretty bright. So he came out with me. And you know what? The very first time he went out, he taught me something. And one of those items sold today. And I think that's one of the biggest things that resellers just can't do is get stuck in just this one lane and never grow and never get better. I think it's part of the reason a lot of these videos are so popular. I'm not just mine, but everybody's in YouTube community here and on Instagram and all these different places and these Facebook groups. It's because it's just this wealth of knowledge. And yes, yes, I understand, you know, giving away secrets and all that. I get it. That's part of it. And I'm not going to ignore that. But I think on the whole, I think the knowledge that can be gained because of this, even for people who have been doing it, is a net plus as opposed to a negative. So some of y'all may disagree and you do often in the comments and that's great, but let's take a look at what's old. Speaking of learning, I learned about Bonanza from a few different folks after the initial phase was pretty darn easy. And I've made some sales. I think we're up to like 12 or 13 sales in a few months. Nothing amazing, but it's easy and it doesn't take any extra time. This sold for $15 plus shipping over there on Bonanza. It's a, bana it's a uh, Bonanza, it's a Bambi cup. And I bought it for $2.50 at the Disney store. All right, if you hate history, you're in for it because I've got some Time Magazine. You're going to see this in the garage sale coming up in about, oh, I don't know, probably in December. I just started editing the video. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about the find because I haven't really dug through these yet. I've only listed three. And they're unfortunately not in great condition. But I still bought a bunch. I probably should have bought every single one that they had. And I'm going to use a few tricks because they're not in great condition, but the ads inside are great. So I'm going to look through them so I can add a little bit extra like this. Almost every one of them has a cigarette ad on the back. So no single, no one single case of throat irritation due to smoking camels. Never. Just, you know, lung cancer, but no throat ir irritation. <laughs> Jeez. At any rate, this one was pretty cool, especially for a history teacher here. It's just Churchill, and this is 1950. New Year's 1950. And he is the man of the half century. And I certainly would uh, would agree with that. There's almost no doubt about it. Unless you're going to give it to somebody like Hitler, which, you know, the man of the century for a bad reason. But Churchill, I certainly can agree. You know, if he's not the man of the century, he's certainly in the top three. Interesting character, for sure. I won't bore you with history. I'll tell you what. I'm going to put myself on like a 30-second limit every time I sell one of these historically. So here you go. So this is 1950, 1940, if I got my dates right, 1946, I think is the Iron Curtain speech. If I can remember it, I say it to my kids. Uh, I tell them that, can you see Eeyore up there? I tell them, I said that Churchill is like an inspirational Eeyore. That's about the way he is if you listen to his speeches. And even the Iron Curtain speech, which is uplifting for him, uh, he's sounding the alarm bells about Russian communism and the Soviets. And he's doing that as World War II is ending. And really, the Cold War starts as the war is ending. And, he, and, they, and his reward for, for saving the world, which of course he didn't do on his own, is to be removed from the prime ministership. It's because he was a man after his time, during his time, if that makes any sense. He was an imperialist. So the age of nationalism had taken over, and they pull this old relic out of the closet here to help them win this war to defend England, to defend Britain, defend freedom everywhere. And then as soon as he does that, they're done with him and they, they move on. 
which I think is uh, interesting. But, it, you know, it's perfect fit for him. He's, he's kind of a conundrum. So at any rate, interesting character for sure. Let me see if I can get the speech and then we'll move on. It is, uh, let's see, from Stettin in the Baltic to Trieste in the Adriatic, an iron curtain has descended across the continent. And he gives that speech in 1946 on American soil. All right, I'm a history teacher, no scientist, so I'll make up for going way over my 30 seconds by saying this is a crayfish. And I know nothing about it, but it's pretty cool. It's sold for $40 plus shipping. Ping, nine iron, right-handed. And a lot of times they'll say, well, they always say Phoenix, but U.S. patent, made in the USA, let's say USA. And there's, you know, it's, in pretty, it's got pretty good grip, which is okay. A lot of times when you buy these, I bought this and I parted it out. And I parted it out because it was missing one club, so I couldn't sell it as a set. I could, I suppose, but it wouldn't have gone for as much. So I decided to part it out. A lot of times the nine iron's not the one left. The ones that are left are like two irons, three irons, four irons, because people don't leave those anywhere because they're usually right by their cart when they hit those. And these, sometimes they're a little closer to the green, and so they'll leave them and walk to the green. And so a lot of times the lower clubs sell faster, but this is not the case for this one. So if you decide to part out a set of clubs, be prepared that you will have a lot of the higher end irons left for maybe even years. This took a year and a half to sell. It was a nine iron, I don't know why. Hey, we've been selling the heck out of these out of the Homeschool Hustler store, haven't we, Turner? Mm -hmm. Yep, we've paid 10 bucks for a whole giant lot of this stuff, sold it on Facebook Marketplace locally, and then took a lot of the trains, and we have made well over $100. This puts us probably closer to 125 Who is that? Thomas. Thomas, and it looks like it's die cast, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. And have you been or drinking orange soda? Oh, yeah. I can tell your lip is orange. Yeah. <laughs> You're a little sweaty. It's a little warm outside today, isn't it? Turn it sideways for us. And, y'all, there is a battery. You take the top off, and you got to check the battery and make sure it works. And I've taken the battery out. There's a little light on the front that you check if it works, too, because sometimes the uh, mechanics work, and then the light won't. you got to make sure you tell everybody. But this is $24 plus shipping for that one right there. So that whole tub we paid for and made a big profit off of just on one little train so be careful though because some of them are good and some of them aren't but those are pretty good ones bye all right 12 days of christmas update here what we have going on right here is a little auction that we're going to do a fundraiser i chipped in 100 bucks to get us going and all these are being auctioned off if you if you just type in uh, commonwealth picker on ebay you will see all this stuff and some of these numbers are crazy Y'all are being incredibly generous, and we are going to give it all away in January to different people, to different charities. This is all going to St. Jude. And we're going to put it all on camera, and we're going to thank everybody who's contributed to it. And uh, we're going to have a bunch of fun in January on the Commonwealth Picker channel. And here it is. I kept this one on purpose out of the original 40 because I knew we were going to do this. Now, you can't be afraid of the number 13. What do they call that? Uh, Triska Def... Tri I can't even remember. Triskaidekaphobia, I think that is. So if you don't like the number 13, don't bid on this. But it is the only one left. We will not make these next year. Reagan signed it, numbered it 13 of 40. And so that'll go up there as well. You can check these out, and we'll probably put one more item on it because we didn't do a video on Saturday, so we're going to add one more item to the auction. All right, really quick, I wanted to ask you all a question. So my wife made that, and I asked her. I'm like, well, I don't want to put it up there because... You know, you made that, and that's kind of a staple in here. She said, oh, my goodness, take it down. I'm just like, are you serious? So we might take that and put it in one of the antique booths that we don't have a sign in. Or I might take it and put it up there and kind of hang it from the ceiling a little bit and block out all that junk anyways. So who the heck knows? I'm not sure. Or or I think we should just make a new shed. What do you think? Another shed? My wife says, no, I'm not allowed to. <laughs> she wants she wants some floors in her house she wants some new lights and a new deck and <laughs> i want a new shed so y'all tell me where should we put this thing new new shed should we put it up there should we uh put it somewhere else I, it wouldn't fit up there it wouldn't fit up there maybe we could hang it over here i would probably hang it from the ceiling when we find the studs there anyways let me know in the comments all right, I've got an item here that I use a little bit of a trick from. This is the item that Daniel, if you go back and watch that video, let me get the title for you. All right, it's Yard Sale 101, Taking a Beginner on the Road. If I can remember, I will link it right here, or at least a picture to it or something.
it's one of our early videos, so it doesn't have, you know, a ton of views, but it was a fun one for sure. And you'll see in the video where he asked me if I pick something up and I'm like, no, why would I pick that up? <laughs> and now I pick it up all the time. And it's something that he knew that I didn't know that I eventually learned from my boy because he wanted one of these. All right, here it is up here. It is a Minecraft sword. Put cosplay in the title. So there it is. This is nothing amazing. But they will go, if you you can beat the competition with a little trick, because a lot of folks out there will sell these, but they'll put it priority mail. I put mine at first class mail. And so I'm able to get shipping just a couple of bucks cheaper. And all I do, there you go, is just lay it down, just trace it, cut out two pieces, and then tape them together. And you got it, and it'll stay at about 15 ounces. And you ship it out first class. And it sold for 15 plus shipping, and I was able to sell mine really quickly because I did that. And because I had that little bit of a discount shipping-wise, saved me money, saved them money, got it sold. And I just saw, <laughs> I'm looking up here, it's really down here. So this one sold, and this one just sold, so you'll see it on tomorrow's video. Just goes to show you, you know, you can learn from anybody, you know. I learn from my kids all the time. I learn from students in my class. I learn from this student who I was taking out doing something I had been doing for 20 years. So you can learn from just about anybody if you pay attention. And I really appreciate learning from y'all in the comments. Every time I do a garage sale video, somebody's telling me something I missed. And it doesn't offend me at all. I'm just curious to learn more. Get better and better. There's a proverb that says, As iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. Or woman, for that matter. So here we go. JVC, this one sold quickly. I mentioned it a couple of days ago or yesterday that... When I listed it, I listed it with no remote, I had no picture, all that stuff. But in the item specifics, it said that it had a remote. So I've sent three messages out now. No response. I'm going to send it, and I'm going to keep sending messages, and hopefully it works out all right. I did say in there, hey, I don't do partial returns. So if you don't want it because there's no remote, you can have to send the whole thing back. So... I don't know. We'll see. It sold really quickly, which made me wonder why, because I put a decent price on it for this model, uh, just under $40 plus shipping. I thought it would hang around for a while, but it didn't. It sold really quickly, and this was a $3 buy. I always add these with it. Not always, but a lot of times I add these with it, and I'll pick these up too. That was something that I learned from Pete Craigslist 100 years and years ago. It makes your picture stand out. Even if they don't really want it, they think it's a little something extra, and you know, I probably paid a quarter for this and maybe 50 cents for these. And mine sold because it looks a little bit more dressed up than other folks. All right, one of my favorite things to sell are eight tracks, and I have no idea why, because they really don't sell for that much money. Although some do, quadraphonic ones do for sure. I have a couple videos about it. You can go back and take a look. This one's got the sticker over the top. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Uh-oh, I hear Turner. $7 plus shipping. All right, I think... This is a disc only, so it must be right here. Rocket League disc only, and I think this one sold for $10, free shipping. So, I don't know. I'm probably into it for nothing. It's a pure profit at this point. Last one is also over here. It's a pretty good media day. Let's see if I can find it. And these records here. There he is. Waylon Jennings. And this was not a great... This actually sells for decent money. This one didn't because it's not in great shape. It's even faded right here. But let me go over here and look. It sold for $8 plus shipping. And I'm going to do a shipping video for records again because my first one was not met with the uh, acclaim that I thought it would be by the pros. So <laughs> you'll see that coming up maybe over. We're going to take Christmas off, aren't we, buddy? Are you excited about Christmas? Yes. Watch this. How many days till Christmas? 12. See, he knows. He knows every time. Yep. 12 days to Christmas. Yep. Awesome. Are you excited? Yeah. Okay. All right, Reagan, what sold out of your store today? We got a Cardinal Picker blue shirt and sticker and Cardinal Picker gray shirt. All right. Good. How's your arm doing? Good. Feeling a little bit better? Y'all, yeah. she was scratching. Was scratching <laughs> she was scratching it with a pencil <laughs> up underneath there. I just yeah. had to mention that. So, All right. Do you remember who bought them? Chad and Preston. Chad and Preston. Did you already say that and I missed it? No, okay. And I think it was Preston said it's a gift for his wife, Gaylene. And if you didn't want me to mention that, I'm sorry, but you didn't say that. So so there you go. Bye, and don't forget to get your sticker at cardinalsticker.com. Pioneer CD changing cartridge. These used to sell for quite a bit more than they do now. 
they really don't sell for much as a replacement. This one sold, I think, just under $9. It was on discount. It will go first class, and it is pure profit for us, but it's really not the kind of seller it used to be. So let me know out there, is there a particular kind out there that you have been selling lately, if you have been, that's selling well? Because this one, I'm just trying to remember the number, PR, oh, I can't remember it. I remember I used to sell so many of these, I had it memorized here. There it is, PRW1141. So, anyway, let me know. Two pinballs, $8.94. We make about $2 profit when we sell a set of two. Hey, last Misfit. I think we have two more Misfit in them, in, and that is it. And I'll probably put them over there on CommonwealthPicker.com here in the next couple of days. Get a few more out before Christmas. And then, uh, y'all are... <laughs> we have a few. Obviously, we have some, right? We have this tub there. There's one tub. I might sell a few more here and there. There are... Uh, <laughs> we'll see. All right, these two went out to Chelsea and to Russell. And Russell says thank you to both of you. And Chelsea, I think, wrote something really kind as well. And I can't remember. I remember Russell saying, when in doubt, part it out. So Russell, thank y'all. And Chelsea, thank you. And we hope he gets things moving for you. All right, so speaking of the Inaman, which I don't call the Inaman because when I do my own stuff here, this is Reagan's drawing. And it says CWP because Fleet obviously is a brand and it's copyrighted. And Inaman actually is trademarked too. The image isn't, but the... Uh, other stuff is so I don't put that on these when I make mine to say CWT so this was actually a prototype from my guy Mike up there so this was sent to us as a prototype and we used the green instead I liked it better and because we have gray for the uh, Commonwealth picker shirt and Reagan liked it better too and these are her this is her lettering that she did when she was making those pictures a long time ago at any rate this was a uh, one and only here in this color and in this design. And you'll notice the CWP is different in the other shirt too. So this is going to be another item going on the 12 days of Christmas. Uh, we'll autograph it, Reagan will, or I will, or whatever, or nobody, whatever y'all want to do. But this is going to get posted on there as well. And I think this is like our sixth or seventh item, I think. And of course, the Supreme sweatshirt, the fake, is over there. And we're giving all that money away. If anybody wants it, it's on Instagram. Just comment underneath it and uh, make a bid. Yeah, I don't care what it is. I don't know what it's going to get to. If somebody gives us 10 bucks for the fake, that's perfectly fine. I'll ship that one for free, and we'll just kind of keep adding to the total and give away all kinds of stuff. Next month, we'll be walking around, giving it away to specific people that I have in mind in the community here, to Charity St. Jude. We're going to give it all away. We're going to put it on that video. And we're going to thank anybody and everybody who's contributed. It's going to be a good time just as a way for us to say thank you to you guys and to just give back everything that's been given to us. All right, on that note, thank you all for joining us as always. And we'll head back out there in just a minute and do something like we always do. But thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. All right, let's check out what people sent us. Look over here, guys. We've got all this we got to get through, and our tree is looking pretty full. What else yeah. did we get today, y'all? What do we get? Uh, That's from Troy. I already yeah, opened it Mountain up. Man Mountain Man Treasure. You guys dig in there. He says, here's a Montana ornament for the tree. Also a new sealed post serial mini bike license plate from 1981 from Montana. I love that. That's going to go back there. Thank you, Troy. If y'all don't know Troy at Mountain uh, Man Treasure, y'all need to. He's a, he's a terrific guy. That's so, cool. Oh, look at fish. that. That is perfect yeah, for Montana, yeah. isn't it? It's perfect. I love it. So we're going to put that over here. Actually, yeah, we got room for a few more, and then we'll have to go inside and put them in there. Yeah. Troy, thank you, as always. We thank do appreciate it. Much. This is, while they're opening it, this is from Poetry, the Poetry of Nice, and she has a yard sale, uh, kind of rummage store, garage sale channel. We have enjoyed watching her, and she's been very kind thank to us, you. so... I'll go North check her Pole. out. North Pole yeah. Mailroom, The Poetry of Nice. I like that. Merry Christmas from Carly at The Poetry of Nice. That is so nice of you. I appreciate it. Let's see what she says. You got it? Oh, she says a bunch. Wow. I'll just let y'all, maybe you can pause it and read it right there. She says, the viewers on my own YouTube channel often mention you in the comments. You truly help so many. That's very, very kind. To the whole Commonwealth Picker family, shout out to the homeschool hustlers. You guys rock. Thank for you. sure, no drought. Thank you, Carly. All right, Turner, your turn. Oh, 
my gosh. Oh, what? You oh. don't think that's for you? Who do you yeah. think that's for? Reagan. <laughs> yep. Let Reagan have that one. See what else you find. Oh Maybe there's gosh. one for you in there. Oh. That doesn't look like it's for you. Bring me some wine. <laughs> Which one else? Maybe Blue Ridge Mama. Oh, That one gosh. looks like it's for you. Yeah. Look mm -hmm. at that. Batman. It's, like, it's Catman. Yeah, Catman. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That looks like a card. Oh, there's another one. Yeah. It's like a card right there. What else is in there? Another one. Looks like Canadian Brick that. Cafe, y'all. Thank you. That is very, very, very kind of you. All you have been nice to us nice multiple time. times. Oh, Look at that little peanut. peanut. You know, Blue Ridge Mama really loves elephants. She's going to love that one. Perfect. Thank you. All right. <laughs> what is this? Bring me a beer. Bring me some wine and bring me a beer. Thank, Thank you very, very much. What Thank else you. we got there? They got a little card. It says, I hope you find enclosed items in good health and high spirits. Not much snow yet in Vancouver, BC. It's a beautiful country up there, by the way. Socks for you, the wife and the kids, and an item for the Christmas tree. Thank you. Very, very nice. Canadian Brick Cafe. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Bye.